everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here to share with you this shabby chic wreath that I created. And I know I'm having a hard time getting it all in frame, so I apologize for that. But um, I am in a Facebook group, and I enjoy this Facebook group so much. I will put a link to it below. And um, she hosts swaps in there, my friend Judy. And I was so excited that I had an opportunity, now that work is slowing down a little bit, to participate in this one and it was for a wreath so I really um, just enjoyed making it I started with a wire wreath and then I wrapped it in some um, wedding dress satin you know all that material that comes with those wedding dresses so I wrapped it in this and um, I will take this opportunity to mention that October 5th I will be having a live sale on my channel um, with Kim from Angel Dream Crafts and uh, she will have a wedding dress material lots available so this is how I used some of that and then I added a little handmade with love um, tag right here so I wrapped that all up and then I placed uh, a gathered lace around the edges which you can also find gathered laces at Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy which you will find a link to the shop below and so then I created these flowers which was so much fun so this is um, the fabric from like um, underneath the satin on a wedding dress they'll have this fabric I can never remember what it's called <laughs> but this is it and this is um, I tea dyed some of it so I used that wedding dress lining uh, to make these flowers and I just, I use the singed method, which is kind of fun. I don't know if I have a tutorial for those or not, but I can put one together if you'd like one. But aren't they pretty? I love how they turned out. So I created all these flowers, which was just a good time. And then I added tufts of uh, tulle um, here. You know, I alternated uh, putting one in and then putting one out just because I like, it just adds a, a softness that I don't know if you can tell against this background <laughs> but it's very cute I love the tool so I just used white tool for that and then um, then I decided I would add bling and so I got into my angel dream crafts bling and I almost hate to use it because I am in love with this particular bling right here I mean I love it I only had three I used two on this and I refuse to use the third one because I don't want to let it go. So there, there's one right there. And then I put the other one here. It's so pretty, right? This bling, it makes me happy. And then, I don't know if you saw in my last ET package or my last haul, I, I got these and I also got these hearts. Beautimus, I love those. And then I've got these, um, these little blings come in all different colors, but these are the colors I used for this. I really was trying to keep it neutral and not go pink, but you know how hard that is for me. But when you're swapping with someone, if you don't know them, and, and I don't know my swap partner, I hate to pink it out because I don't know how they feel about pink. So I thought I'll play with the neutrals. And then I added this beautiful crown of pearl bling, hello, also from Angel Dream Crafts love it so it's just full of bling from Kim's shop and then I added um, pearl strands so I was like it needs pearl strands and I toyed with the idea of going like over the flowers but that was just too busy for me so I kind of just went around them with the pearl and I think that looks really nice I like that so part of the swap was um, she really encouraged you to add a vintage image. Now, that's not really something I like to do a lot. I'm not, I'm not the vintage image girl. I mean, sometimes I do put vintage images, but um, I kind of like this the way this looked without it. So I made this a removable little image. So here is the wreath, which I love. And I just added some ribbon to the top to hang it. Really, really pretty. And then I created uh, this little uh, clip 
of an image. So I found this image in my stash. It's on cardstock. I don't remember where I got it, but I feel like I got that from Sierra, but I don't know for sure. It could have been rosy. I don't know. But I just added this pleated tool trim uh, from Kim's shop around the edges. I covered it with fabric and then I covered uh, one of these little hair clips with some eyelet lace from Kim's shop. So it's removable. So my swap partner can clip it on or she can clip it off and then use this image, which is totally adorable, wherever she wants. So I just love it. So let me clip that back on. So it is cute. It is cute if you are a vintage image person. You love it. Right? I I think it looks nice like this though, but she gets to choose. <laughs> I made it really easy to come on and off. So I would love to know what you think about this. I had such a great time creating it. And um, I will leave a link to the Facebook group uh, where the swaps are happening below. I have a link to Kim's shop below. And I also have will have a link to my Facebook group below. Now, we're not doing swaps in there right now. Uh, honestly, I do one-on-one um, -on -one swaps, and then I do swaps in Judy's group. But I am going to start hosting challenges in my Facebook group um, because I find that challenges get me motivated and uh, encourage me to try new things. So I'm hoping it'll do the same for you. So I'll be hosting challenges in my Facebook group. And uh, the link to that is below. And I hope that you are all doing well. And um, I would... I think we should all try to make a shabby sheet wreath. It's so cute. And you know what's funny is I don't think I've ever actually created a wreath before, which seems weird. And now I want to make <laughs> I want to make a bunch of them. <laughs> so cute. So all right, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.